The green flag flies. We are underway. Heat race number one of three for your Robert Horn Ford Bombers. And Ross Krajcek breaks out to the early race lead as Cameron Mabbitt having some issues in the 27. Kind of stacked up the field. As here comes Don Burner in that second spot. Jason Knupel and Shane Heisen. They're going to go side by side as Mackenzie Zacherson spins around off the turn. No, down the back straightaway. And we'll bring it into the infield. Not sure now. Looks like she's trying to face up to the racetrack. I don't know if she's going to try to come back up or not. But it is going to be Ross Krajak who leads lap number one. He already has the field going into turn at number three. Mackenzie Zacherson will come back on the racetrack down the back straightaway. So Krajak, your race leader, those chromed out wheels, followed by Don Burner in the number 14. Jace Knupel in third. The 40 is Shane Heisen and Jacob Streit rounding out your top five. So K Jack shows the way off of turn at number four. It's top three drivers kind of singled out. A lot of space between them, but the battle's heating up for that four spot now between Shane Heisen and Jacob Streit. Uh, Justin, I have 107. Jacob Streit to the inside of Heisen as they work their way into turn number one. Heisen able to hang on to it off of turn number two using that top side of the racetrack. He has about a car length advantage over the 13 now of Strite. Strite once again drops the nose down the inside of Heisen. They go side by side through turns three and four off of turn number four. It's Heisen up top, Strite down low. Still side by side. That battle for third right now. Jacob Strite will clear the 40 of Shane Heisen as the white flag's getting ready to come out for Ross Krajak. As Don Burner, he's casting out the old fishing reel and he is reeling him in. One lap to go. Can Don Burner? Work his way past the 51R of Ross Krajak. So they work off a of turn number two, just two car lengths to separation. Down the back straightaway into turn number three. It will be Krajak showing the way. Don Burner giving all he has off a of turn number four. Give it to the 51R of Krajak with Burner coming in second. Jason Knupel will come home in third, trying to sneak past McKenzie Zacherson. He'll finish third, followed by Jacob Streit. Shane Heisen runs out your top five. A little smoke coming out of the 56 of Joey Jock. So lights are out. Green flag is in the air. We're underway. Second bomber heat race of the night. Preston Reed not getting on the loud pedal there. Kind of makes the field go crazy there off the start. <laughs> so it will be Josh Monday, your race leader. Off of turn number two, down in turn number three. Davey Watkins, keep it on. That driver started this race in eighth. He's already up to third as we've complete lap number one. It's going to be Josh Monday, Jim Hawk, and Watkins, your top three drivers. The ADHD of Brent Learn. Brand new paint scheme on that car. Introduced it a few weeks ago with Austin Sills in fifth as Jim Hawk to the inside of Monday. He'll get by him for the race lead. Jim Hawk in the number 16. You used to see about four or five of those number 16 cars with the neon colors out here, but looks like only one tonight, and that is Jim Hawk. And he is definitely fast here tonight at Arizona Speedway with the race lead. Davey Watkins going to look to the outside of Josh Monday. Now he's going to drop the nose down the inside of him. That's a battle for second off of turn number two. Down the back straightaway they go. Watkins to the inside. Josh Monday to the outside. It will be Watkins hanging on to it, I think. No, he's going to lose it off of turn number four. Gets back on it, but will lose that second spot to Monday once again. <laughs> so Josh Monday hanging on to that second spot over Davey Watkins. Another driver having some issues here in this heat race. 25, Toby Wibito used to see him riding up to the front of the pack. Right now that 25 car mired back outside your top five. And it's all Jim Hawk out front. And then it's Josh Monday in second with the freight train of cars behind him, followed by Davey Watkins and the 80 HD of Brent Learn. Learn with a little issue off of turn number two. So Watkins is going to drive away from him, trying to have a sight set on that second spot once again with Josh Monday. It will be Hawk, though, getting the white flag this time by. Jim Hawk in the turn at number one. He'll lead the field off of turn number two. No pressure from behind. Clear windshield out front for the 16 machine of Hawk as Watkins dropped his nose down the inside of Monday. Couldn't quite do anything with him. That opened up the door for Brett Learn. Hawk's going to come off a of turn number four. He'll win heat race number two, and the battle's on for second. Watkins slowing down, but here comes Brett Learn. Can't do anything with Monday, though. He'll come home in second, followed by Learn. Caleb Woolery comes home in fourth with fifth going to Davey Watkins.
And green flag is in the air. We're underway. Randy Booth immediately goes to the race lead and drops the nose down low. Tries to cut off the momentum of Brandon Varney. Slam the door on him going into turn number one. Randy Booth, of course, a teen car to the 16 of Jim Hawk, which just won heat race number two. See, he works his way into turn number three, your race leader. But here comes Rick Hughes in the 1776 America. James Gow behind him. Booth will lead lap number one as Hughes looks to the outside of him. Now that's going to bring up Guile to the inside of Rick Hughes. Hughes able to hold him off off of turn number two. Down the back straight away they go. It's freight train racing here at Arizona Speedway with led by Booth, Hughes, Guile, Gary, and the 62 of DeLong. So Tyler DeLong taking over for Megan Ray here this evening. That number 62 trying to put it up inside the top four. Right now has the top five position. Here comes Jacob Mabbitt now the 28. Looks the outside of DeLong. Now James Guile going to look to the inside of Rick Hughes as they work their way off a of turn number four. Guile trying to break ranks and make something happen. Can't quite do anything with him. It slams the door on John Gary. Almost made contact with the wall. That was definitely close racing. James Guile and John Gary as here comes DeLong now on the inside with Jacob Mabbitt and Rick Hughes all over the back side of the 16B of Booth. Great racing out here at Arizona Speedway and heat race number three for the Bombers here tonight. James Guile now looks to the outside of Rick Hughes. And that number seven machine can't quite do anything with him. Might have made a little contact with Hughes. Off a of turn number two, it might propel Hughes by. Hughes actually might have made contact with the wall off a of turn number two. Now he goes side by side with Guile. Hughes to the outside of Booth. Guile down the inside of him. It will be Booth hanging on the race lead as here comes Guile now down low. It's Booth and Hughes up top. Guile, DeLong, and Gary. And then you got Jacob Mabbitt and the 10X of Jaden Pops. All those drivers, you can throw a blanket over as they go into turn number three as Hughes goes side by side now with Randy Booth. Checkered flag in the air. Give it to Rick Hughes at the line. Rick Hughes gets by Randy Booth at the line.